Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be talking about how to use the Texturing XYZ maps with a UV. So first of all export your UV from your preferred texturing software and import them all using the scripts, load files into stack and browse your files. Here are my four layered textures. I'm going to select those first and click OK. Then I'm going to hit browse again, go to where my UV is, select my UV and click open. Click OK and now they should all load into one stack. Once this is done, make sure to control click on one of your images, select the rest, and make sure they are both aligned like so. After this, create all of them into dynamic objects. This is very, very important. Once you've converted all of your images into dynamic objects, you can now start the process of wrapping to your UV. So grab your UV, put it to the top, make sure you are on screen mode, and set the transparency to something like 30%. This will make it a lot easier for you to place your maps correctly. Now all you have to do is zoom in, select your maps, place them correctly where you would like them to be. Select the first one, go to Edit, Puppet Warp, and you're ready to go. Make sure you've got the density mode on more points, and all you have to do now is zoom in, click on the extremities of the eyes, for example, and drag them to your UV. Now don't be alarmed, you will get deformation from this. Once you've finished, hit the tick button and it should place your map exactly how you would like it to be. All you have to do now is click Alt and drag your filter onto every other map. Now that you've dragged them onto the other maps, you can now see that they have all warped in the exact same way. This is perfect for stacking. If you're not satisfied with the results, you can always retouch it all using a tool called Liquify. By hitting Ctrl Shift X or by going to Filter Liquify. Once you enter the tool and zoom in, and you'll get the same results as you did last time. I'm going to start on the eye. So start by hitting Alt and right click and drag to change the size of your brush. And all you have to do is drag the points to where you would like them to be. Once you're happy with the result, hit OK. The liquify will do its job. Once again, all you have to do is hit Alt and drag the liquify onto the other maps. And there we have it. All your maps are warped and match correctly with one another. You can now export each one of these for rendering. Thank you for watching this video.